This is the, one of the rodent stock slit lamps. Um, went ahead and got a standard, standard normal plug on it. Goes in, as soon as it goes in, you can see the light comes on. So it's, it's working. That goes down under here and plugs in to the power box right here, to the normal plug in the wall. And then this extra one comes out the side and up and powers everything up here. This extra open one doesn't get anything. These are equivalent. It's like power one and power two. They're the same, same openings, but just you only need the one of them, either one. And so we just do the more inside one that goes up through the um, base plate into the slit lamp stuff. On here, you've got just the power on and off button. That's it. And then some German words and rodent stock. But up here, it's got the same thing like in another video. This is the lock, you unlock it, and it'll slide around, and you lock it, and it'll, I mean, now I'm moving the plate because it's not screwed in, but the, the, the slit lamp's not sliding around. This is the dimmer switch, so you can see I can dim it and brighten it back up. Dim and bright with this thing. Then this is a knob sensitivity. I feel like that doesn't matter a whole ton. You can kind of move it back and forth and it, it, it just says normal, no matter where you put it. But you got the lock and the move around and then you got the electronic up and down. And down, easy. The, this is where they hide the bulb. So we pull that out and it's a plug with the detachable bulb. And so you can just easy replace those whenever you have to. And then it just slides back in, boop, and is on, working. On here, you got, let's see if we can get the, the light in the same picture, there we go. So this flips it from, um, white to green or blue. So you flip it to the side and you got blue and then the other side is green. You can do it all the way around and it's white. So it's just got two whites with a blue and a green on either side. Then this next one on the front is the, oh, it's, it's not in focus. So it's not showing how I want it to. Let's see if we can get this. Yes. Ah, that's right. I'm gonna get. Here we go. Got a paper so you can see see what they do. So we had this uh, top one was back to the blue and back to white. Then the next one below that changes the width down from skinny to super wide, back to skinny. And then it yeah goes on a circle there. And then the super bottom one rotates it if you ever wanted to rotate it, right? We go back to normal, and up at the top, it has a flip over diffuser. If you want to take photos like that, this is just a, a aftermarket piece that just comes off, but it was made specifically for it, so it has little pins that poke in there. And back to here, it's got four um, magnifications, and I'll show you a little bit what those look like. These you just manually adjust for how far apart you want them, and on the and on the top, <clears throat> we'll see if we can look and see if it tells us anything. There we go. That it should have it right here. There we go. That's not very exciting, but it has a super zoomed out mag right here. So you can see the whole eye and then both mags on either side are this kind of average one that you'd use a lot and then it has a super crazy magnifier Oop, this one for doing uh, cells and flare and this is there we go kind of not doing it justice in my camera because i can't line it up right with the optics but um let's see if i can there we go there, that sharp. So this is on the super zoomed in one and you can see kind of details of the paper on there. Boop. And my phone's trying to autofocus it. But that's not cool. So we back off to a, a normal one. There we go. Easy. Texture of the paper. Yeah, right there. Easy. 
That's it. So the this will come detached, and the way that the power plugs in, this one auto plugs for the light into the base, and all of that comes out the bottom of the base into this thing. So this is under the slit lamp right there. So it, the like the whole power plug in hides under there. You plug it in, and then you bolt it on to cover it up so it doesn't come undone. But these are labeled so this has a zero and it just slides into the zero yeah. Boop. um that has eight comma five it's a, either one i think there might be a, a five hiding in here but it's the only one with an eight there's an eight on there and so that's where the eight goes the last one has a 12 and there's a one and a two right there so that one goes in there doop, doop, doop. there we go so it's just, they just grip on like, like car parts, easy. And then this is, oh, that's screwed into place so that it stays under the slit lamp. And then the hole's already mounted where it would go under the table where the plate's blocking so it doesn't get tugged on or anything. And down into here where it runs over into the gray cord and into the top and then the top plug routes it out here to the, or the bottom plug routes it up here to the top and into the wall. So it's, which you're not gonna use a wall, you're gonna use the slit lamp stand plug, but it's a regular plug like it should be. That's it. Okay, so I took the uh, head stand off where the patient puts their chin. There's a little power connection there for like the little light they can look at. So it's just these two that come in out of the table and slide into those under before you mount it. And I re-put the bolt screws in there and they just go under the, there you go, those two at the edge of the table. Um, I'm gonna put a, a wraparound piece of tape on the one of them labeled green for this one and on that labeled black for that one. So that's easy. The other ones have numbers.